Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm excited to take you through the latest updates in Edge Animate. And technically, this is Edge Animate 3.0. Uh, in fact, we have three major features that I'd like to highlight. Keep in mind, motion paths, as you can see here, animation interactivity is all available to us all in Edge Animate. But let's take a look at uh, probably the biggest feature is right over here, audio. Under the library panel, you can add audio to your Edge Animate compositions. In fact, fact, just click that plus sign right there and locate your audio files. Now, uh, I'm doing two, so an MPEG-3, which is very widely accepted with browsers, as well as the OGG. That's just sort of a backup format. Don't really need to sweat those. I just locate both of those and I can add them. And a pro tip for you is, in fact, I can just bring these assets into the media folder. So if you have a folder called media, it will automatically uh, make those items available in the audio section in library. Same thing for images. So selecting open, you can see they appear right here. Good to go there. I actually want to add this bird's fade to this initial scene. All I need to do is drag it in there. Don't need to worry about either one of those. I just need to drag that in. And you can actually see that obviously it didn't drop anything in on my page, if you will, but it adds it right down here in my timeline. And to be honest with you, it's not going to play initially. All I need to do is go over here. You'll see this new category, audio, and I can make it auto play. So just like that, saving this file, running it in a browser. And now you have that audio. But let's take a look at adding audio to buttons. In fact, right here, I want to add audio when I click on this button, that city sound. So how would you do that? Well, you could take that city actual, that audio file right there and just drop it in. Sure, why not? Okay, here it is. And I don't want it to autoplay. But what I do want to happen is for this CD Actual Odd, and I'm going to this button, selecting it, opening up the actions for that particular button. What I want to do is I just need to make reference to that particular symbol and then play it. In fact, you'll notice right off over here, play audio, pause it, play audio from, so from a certain section. But again, play audio is what I want to do. And right there, just pasting in that name just like that. So that's exactly how you do it. That is set up. I can do that pretty much with any audio track. Attach it that way. I can stop the audio. Last thing I wanted to point out is if I scrub down in the timeline, uh, you can also play your audio this way. So adding a playback command, you can say play at this point. And I can move this wherever I want. Okay. And also notice what you can do is you can start to animate and control the volume over time as well. So definitely really cool what you could do there. But with that set up, saving my uh, file, running this in the browser. City sounds. You get the idea. All right, next up, scripting. So you can actually uh, add your own JavaScript files, your libraries, whatever you want to directly in Edge Animate. No crazy workarounds. In fact, I'm going to jump out to greensock.com forward slash draggable because this is what I want to implement. And I've already talked about in past video how to use Greensock. I've also talked about drag and drop. Well, you can do drag and drop with Greensock as well, okay? And it's just a great JavaScript library. This is what I want to implement. The ability to spin this wheel is what I want to do, okay? So I would use a Greensock to do that. In fact, it gives me the line right here on how to do it, which is just identifying the item, what you want to do with it, and the throw props actually gives you that velocity, velocity that makes it actually look really slick. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that line. But that's what you do here. You can download the Greensock animation platform. You could sign up for the Shockingly Green, which is, I think, where Throw Props plugin is, is in that category. But nonetheless, you pick what you want, uh, you download it, and that's what I'm doing right now. And just in the scripts panel, hitting that plus sign, adding the JS from disk. This is what I want. These three files, selecting them all, draggable, Throw Props, and then Tween Max. 
adding them, and now I can start to use those functions, whatever the library includes, right away. In fact, what I want to do is I'm going to just drop it actually right in here. If I take a look, I have this dial that I want to deal with, this altimeter infographic that I want to uh, deal with, and that's actually where I want to add that code. In fact, clicking right up here, and on creation complete, okay, I have this infographic that's going to build. I would insert my code, and it's great. I have my includes. It's just a matter of using this code. Draggable, create, whatever I want to control, rotation, throw props true. Actually gets a little more advanced than that, but the website does a good job of showing everything, everything you need to do. And again, this is where we get the altimeter. Type is going to be rotation, throw props true, and then throw an update. So you want to have an update to happen uh, as you rotate it. And what happens at that point is you're going to start to see uh, the numbers change based on the rotation. I'll show you exactly what I mean. But the short of it, obviously, is that I've added those scripts to this particular project. And before I publish it out, I'm going to do one more thing. As I go back to my main stage right here, and this is something that's been asked for as well, it's like this true responsive scaling is what you can have with your content. You do width, height, you can do both. You can center the content as well, vertically and horizontally. You now have responsive scaling inside of Edge Animate. Everything fits as I scale it up and down. You can see it react. I can implement this into a responsive design site. This is where I've implemented that altimeter. So as I rotate it, you can see how it changes sort of the, the climbing numbers. And that's what that, uh, that creation complete function actually calls. You can see how that looks all done from within Edge Animate. Of course, there's more it can do. We've added so much to it. Thanks to Creative Cloud, this is just the most recent update. And thanks so much for watching.